Upton Glen migrated to Australia in 1961 in search of a job and in December 1963 volunteered to come to PNG to train and become a teacher. During that time, PNG was still colonized by Australia and school was a totally new thing. Up until 1960, the Australian administration wasn't terribly interested in education in Papua New Guinea. They left it up to the churches, to the missions. But starting in 1960, they, be, they began to follow a, a program for developing universal primary education, every child in Papua New Guinea, to have at least a grade six education before independence. From Old Island, he decided to settle in New Island. Went over to New Island, down to Sursurunga, which is way down the bottom of New Island on the east coast, and taught there for three years, and then went to KVN and uh, taught in the Kavian primary school, they call it Almang now. And um, He then went back to Australia and studied to become a priest and returned to PNG to do his priesthood. He is now a PNG citizen and has retired from active ministry. He is a chaplain and counsellor and teaches religion and personal development at Jubilee Catholic Secondary School in Port Mosby. Talking to my friends and parishioners about what I was learning about life in the settlements, about young people growing up in the settlements. I told them I was going to try and do something about it. I began getting help from parishioners here in Hohola and uh, in Marata, where I was working. He has formed care groups to support orphans and vulnerable young women on the streets and settlements of Port Mosby. So I came across these attitudes and that's why I founded Yaka, inviting my students to say no to these attitudes. Uh, to deliberately think about these attitudes towards, uh, towards uh, lying and stealing, towards violence and corruption, and to deliberately say, no, these attitudes are not for me. He also formed a Youth Against Corruption Association for youths to say no to corruption. I've been in Papua New Guinea too long. Um, my life is here. I've been bitten by so many mosquitoes, my blood has been changed now, there's no more European blood, so all Papua New Guinea blood now. <laughs> and um, this is my home, I couldn't possibly live anywhere else. He is now 77 years old and says PNG is his home. Paul Loke, National MTV News. Community that it would destroy my relationship with the children and with their parents.